Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of VGU Talks, and let's talk games. Now, don't jump to that comment section straight away after reading the title, because trust me, I'm going to explain what I'm on about. So, the title of this video is very simple. Does Final Fantasy VII deserve to be remade? The quick answer is yes. The full in-depth answer is yes. But personally, I wasn't looking forward to it being remade before some of the other Final Fantasy games. So yes, let's get this out of the way first. I am a fan of Final Fantasy as a series as a whole. I am a fan of Final Fantasy VII. I love Cloud, Tifa, Barrett, Vincent and all those other guys. I love the game in general. Love the Golden Saucer, the Chocobo races, all that fun stuff. It was great. I got it when it was at its prime on the PS1, blew my mind, it literally did. But guess what I played before I played Final Fantasy VII back on the PlayStation 1? I played four games, and these four games are, at least in my opinion, also deserving of a remake somewhere down the line, and I personally thought were going to be considered to be remade before Final Fantasy VII. So let's go over which games I had in my head. First off is Final Fantasy IV. Now, in my opinion, Final Fantasy IV I think is one of the more underrated titles in the series because I truly think it is fantastic. It has one of the best character lineups in a Final Fantasy game. It has a lot of drama, it has one of the best stories, and also Cecil, the lead character's personal arc of going from being a Dark Knight following orders to then having to go against what he knows, to go on a pilgrimage, to become a paladin. That felt so righteous and it was so well done in the game as well. Bearing in mind that it's been many a year since I have touched Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy VII back to back and really seen which one is truly better, at least from now and my standpoint as to where I am now, I would say Final Fantasy IV is at the same level as Final Fantasy VII for me. It has that nice blend of character, story, gameplay and all that jazz. And I really just fell in love with it like I did with Final Fantasy VII. So I think IV deserved it just as much. After IV, I played Final Fantasy V and again fell in love with Final Fantasy V. But with V, as much as the characters were okay, I don't think the characters were the best characters after Final Fantasy IV, I think they were a little bit lackluster. Like, Bots was okay, um, some of the other characters were fine, but they just weren't enough. There were great characters on the villain side of things. I mean, Golbez? Golbez was insanely good. And also, Final Fantasy V introduced one of my favourite characters from the entire series, Gilgamesh. And my favourite tune from the Final Fantasy series, being the battle on the big bridge. One of the greatest moments in Final Fantasy history but you have to play for yourself to truly understand why it's so good. And although I would love Final Fantasy V to be remade, I don't think it deserves to be remade as much as 4 and 7. Simply because if you are to remake 5, I would personally want to make the characters better. And that would have to take time because you would have to go back and see how the characters were done in the original and just try and make them better because as I said earlier a little bit lackluster but and this is going to be the one that does get people going a little bit nuts in my comment section I can already say I think Final Fantasy 6 deserved the remake more than Final Fantasy 7 so let's go into this as best as I can okay first things first Final Fantasy VI, at least in my eyes, had the better protagonist being Terra in comparison to Cloud. Terra had a pretty interesting storyline behind her, being half human, half Esper, and then when she's trying to find herself, she ends up embracing her Esper powers, but then after Kefka pretty much just tears the world in half, she ends up feeling compassion towards all these children and wanting to be their mother after they've lost all their families, she loses her will to fight and then even when she tries to enter the fight and tries to battle monsters again she can't do it and she fails and she feels terrible about herself and she thinks no this is what I have to do now but then what does her character do she comes back up again and she strikes back 
and she comes back as even stronger than before, and that's why I think Terra's just insanely awesome. But as for Cloud, as much as I do like Cloud's backstory, his backstory is one of the best, being the fact that he's lived a pseudo life, thinking that he is this magnificent guy who used to be teaming up with Sephiroth on all these important missions, only to find out that he was an underling, and he's just taken on the memories of Zack after Zack has carried on. Those feels are insane, but I just think that what happens to Cloud throughout the story, even when he ends up in the wheelchair and completely incapable of moving around and has to go through that personal struggle, that personal struggle in Final Fantasy VII, at least in my eyes, doesn't quite match up to the personal struggle of terror in Final Fantasy VI. As well as that, the Magitek armors, the Espers themselves, and the summons that you had in there, the different capabilities that they all had, Kefka as a freaking villain, yo! Kefka versus Sephiroth, I think Kefka has a chance of winning any day of the week. Because to this day, Kefka is the only Final Fantasy villain in history to literally get what he wants, destroy the world as they know it, and become a god. I want to see that in full 3D FMV glory. And just through that alone makes me really want Final Fantasy VI more than Final Fantasy VII as a remake. Now the last one I have in my head is a little bit of an off title from the Final Fantasy series. Some of you guys might have played it, other of you might have not. But the original Final Fantasy Tactics I think would be lovely as a remake. And if anyone's out there thinking, well Final Fantasy Tactics wouldn't work in today's market, it just wouldn't sell that well, there aren't many people out there that would buy it, guys. Have you not seen how crazy good XCOM did? And how huge XCOM 2's reception has been since its announcement? Games like that are doing fantastic and they're coming back again! I've even been seeing indie titles coming up that have been using XCOM-S battle systems that are trying to bring back the genre. And it's coming back in a formidable force. This is the perfect opportunity to bring back Final Fantasy Tactics as a proper title on the PC, Xbox One, PS4, you name it. Now, this is bearing in mind, I do know there is a Final Fantasy Tactics-esque title on iOS, but I have played it, and uh, as much as it's okay, it's just not at that level as to what it could be as a full remake at least in my eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very small look into my opinions on the Final Fantasy VII Remake and whether I think it deserves to be remade now. As I said earlier, my quick answer is yes, and I'm really looking forward to what Final Fantasy VII, the remake, is going to bring to the table, change up, and all that jazz. But I am very sad that at least Final Fantasy VI wasn't put into consideration, yet alone Final Fantasy IV, V, and Tactics. But now I leave it up to you guys, what do you think about Final Fantasy VII the remake and do you think other Final Fantasy games deserve the remake treatment or deserve to have their remake treatment before Final Fantasy VII? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time for another edition of VGU Talks.